Welcome back to the channel guys. We are almost ready to get this monster in the air. I would say that loosely because I'm a bit worried about it and I don't know if it's actually going to get in the air. So we'll find out. I've got all the motors and the ESCs routed. I've done all the cable management. We've got the DJI A2 flight controller system put on there. As mentioned in part one of the video, I've gone for an A2 primarily because it's built for the heavy lift drone. So this being a heavy drone, it's going to cope with the, the vibrations and the sheer size of it and the weight. And it's going to give me the safety net of GPS. So we can just get it up in the air if it even does that. Hopefully it'll just sit there and it'll give us a chance to suss out things. So I calibrate the compass, I've set where it is and the IMU have told it all. So that all seems right. So the last little step now before we fly the beast is fix some batteries in. We need to turn it back on, power it all up, and we're going to run through the DJI A2 assistant program on the laptop super quick, just to make sure we have correctly got the motors rotating the right ways, counterclockwise and clockwise, and then we can get the props fitted on. So, without further ado, let's get our computer plugged in. Right, so we're all plugged in, guys. We've got you up on the tripod there. We've got the uh, Futaba 14SG controller. We've got 12S powering the motors. And we've got 4S power in the flight controller system. So we've got the computer plugged into the flight controller. So we can just go ahead and just make sure all our channels are mapped correctly. So if they're all sliding around on the bars on the screen there correctly. I've got my flight mode switch from GPS, ATI mode and return to home, which is also moving on the screen there. So that's very important. You can't see on the camera there, guys, but the LED is changing colour on the back. So what we need to do now... We go into advanced and we just go through and make sure everything is all mapped correctly, which it looks like it is. The one thing we need to try out, which we can't really do until we've got the thing running, is the gains. So if the gains are too low, the drone will be very, very wallowy. If they're too high, it'll wobble so we're gonna have to map those to a channel on here so we can adjust that on the fly so that'll get that sorted motors all looks good guys all looks good so what we can do now is unplug it get that out of the way and we can test it so does it power up so old school dji style out Yes, it does. And kill it. Okay, so let's get the props on. I've got them next to me here. These big, massive props. So we're going to get those on. Drop them everywhere. Big, huge T motor ones. So these are a direct mount onto the tops of the motors. So we get those all fitted, ensuring they are on the correct rotations. I've just put the coloured sticker dots on the props and on the corresponding motor, so we get those the right way. And we'll come right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. We are at the field. We've got the Mega Drone with its huge 30-inch props. It's not ideal here at the minute because the grass is a little bit long, so... We need to get it up in the air as quickly as we can away from it, but there's no reason I can't see why it won't fly, so fingers crossed. Let's see if it works. Let's do this. Let's see if it works. Stand well back. Arm the motors. Let's just get it away from the ground. Yes! It works! <laughs> Wow. We definitely need stronger arms on it though, guys, because you can see them flexing, even though I've put the um, metal under it. So, seeing as this seems almost a success, 
what we need to do is we'll build a new carbon frame now we'll put some carbon rods underneath it we'll layer up a nice carbon frame definitely see the flex in that so this is now developing just over 40 kilograms of lift which is obviously more than enough need to adjust the rates a little bit more they were a bit high i think they might be a little bit low now it's a little bit squishy that's a very very scary thing to see these motors are only uh, 80 kv as well so they're spinning very slow but we've got the big high lift props on there see it wallowing about a bit then so what we'll do oh this is so cool guys this has been in the making for several years, put on the back burner, put on the front burner, and here it is, actually flying. Look at that. Please like, share, and subscribe this, guys, because there's gonna be lots more of this. If you want lots more, obviously I do, because this is really cool. We've got another four motors the same, so we'll get that in there. Yikes, does it go in? And there it is, I found the camera, thank goodness for that. I'm in a dodgy little ditch, look. So, I'm not really sure what happened there, but this is why you've got to test things. So I think it just got a bit out of uh, sorts by those trees. And we had to pull it back, but obviously it was too late. So we took some new props on and we're good to go again. Okay, it's back on the ground. Semi-successful mission. Um, what I think happened there is there was an awful lot of grass wrapped on the motors, which was gradually wrapping itself round. So it started backing up and there wasn't enough oomph in the back motors to pull it back forwards away from the tree. Although you can blame me as well, pilot error. I was the one with the controller in my hand and I didn't want to let it go into the tree. But all we've done is break a few props. So I've got some spares back in the workshop. We'll get those fitted. We'll tweak the rates a little bit because it was a little bit unpredictable. Um, and we'll get it back out. Once we've done that, we've tested all the running gear again properly. We'll get a carbon frame made up for it and then we can really use it. Cheers, guys. Right, so we've just had a little look at our footage in the car, me and Miles, when we're getting the, the helicopters out. We've got the Goose Guy and the Roban, so we're gonna have a little fly with those. So we've had a little look at the footage and it probably was pilot error, but I'm not convinced because I was pushing forwards on the stick and the drone wasn't pitching forwards to pull out away from the trees. It kept sort of drifting back. So I need to do another compass calibration on it because A2s, if you any know anything with old A2 drone systems, they do a toilet bowl effect. So I'm not sure whether that was going on or like I said, it was just me that messed up, but I'll hold my hands up. I crashed it into a tree so we've had another good look at it there's nothing wrong with it at all just three props so we've got some of those in stock we get those on guys and we get it back bigger field and we get it flying for you again take it easy guys don't forget to subscribe